I am so nervous for this test. Everyone I've talked to has said that Mr. A is a very hard teacher. Therefore his tests must be impossible. Apparently you have learned nothing for our fallacies test. That is a perfect example of appeal to the masses. Just because the majority of people say something is true, does not make it true. Don't worry, I will be fine because today I am wearing my lucky socks. And every time I wear these socks, I always do well on a test. Did you not bother to study at all? That is obviously a false cause fallacy. The fallacy of arguing that one event was caused by another event merely because it occurred after that event. In this way, it was not your socks that caused you to do well as there are many other contributing factors. Why should I listen to you anyways? You're just an unintelligent, ugly, bitter person. Of course you would say that. As you know nothing about valid arguments, it is only logical that you would result to an ad hominem. Meaning that you resort to a personal attack against me, rather than attacking my arguments. Fine, I don't know much on fallacies. How about you help me to cheat? Of course not. It is as if you want me to fail. I don't think you understand. If I don't do well on this test, I won't pass this course, meaning that I will have to go to summer school. And if I go to summer school there will be no one to look after my little brother and sister in the daytime. Meaning that my mother would have to pay to put them into daycare, probably resulting in her having to work two jobs. No matter what you say, I will not help you cheat. And don't think I didn't notice your use of ad misericordium. Ad what? The Latin name for the appeal to pity fallacy. When an arguer tries to get people to accept a conclusion by making them feel sorry for someone. Which you did when you tried to make me feel sorry for you. Regardless, everything I just said was true. And if I fail school, I will soon end up with a bad job. Which will then result in me living on the streets. Soon enough I would get into drug and alcohol abuse. And soon enough I would die from overdose. Therefore, you should help me to pass this test. First of all, you should have helped yourself by studying. Because if you had you would realize that what you just said was considered a slippery slope fallacy. When the auger claims that a sort of chain reaction, usually ending in some dire consequence, will take place, but there is really not enough evidence for that assumption. The auger asserts that if we take even one step onto the slippery slope, we will end up sliding all the way to the bottom. Why are you telling me all this? It's not like I will learn any of it for my test. If you say so. But I know that every time I wear this watch, anyone I help is bound to do well. Really? Hey, that was a false cause fallacy.